Okay, welcome to bar. Inhale, expand the rib cage. Exhale, feet hip distance, chest up, shoulders back. Let's begin squatting. Sit down into your heels, down and back. Drive through the heels as you rise. Core nice and engaged. So if you think about blowing out your birthday candles, when you do that, you engage all of those muscles all around your waist. And that is engaging your core. Take your heels together, feet open so you're rotated from your hip sockets. Lift your posture and let's just do a few little knee bends. So notice I'm staying rather straight in my posture. The back of my head, back of my shoulders, tailbone would all be sliding down a wall. Just getting some mobility into those ankles for the moment. One more, hold here. I'm just gonna take a nice lateral lean and back to center, rise up, sink down. Other side, lateral lean, back to center, rise up, slide down. Lateral lean, center, rise up, squeezing those heels together, sink down, lateral lean, center, rise up, a little quicker, lean, rise, good, lean, squeeze as you rise, lean, rise, lean, and rise. I'm going to take this left leg and step out to the side into a wide plie. So here's the side view. So again, I'm trying to slide my back down the wall. And I'm squeezing my heels toward each other, even though they're not moving. Like I'm trying to buckle the floor in between my heels. Good. Stay with that. I'm really glad you joined me this morning, friends. A couple more like this. And squeeze. Two more. Keep that chest nice and lifted, core engaged. Now, step together, step out to the other side. So I have to adjust my spacing a little bit. Same thing, just a few of these. Down, down, up, up. Now, do you have room to move in both directions? I'm gonna go down, down, I'm gonna step together. I'm gonna go the other way, out, and together. Good, so out, and together, out, Squeeze together. Out. Let's just get some heat getting going into the body here. Very nice. A little quicker, please. I'm Dawn. I'm so glad you joined me. With bar, I want you to move at your own pace and your own range of motion. Four more. Excellent. Back to the center. Bring those feet forward. Feet hip width are a little bit wider. We're going back to those squats slowly. Very nice. So squatting as deeply as feels good to you right now. We're working up to a bigger range of motion. On the next one, I'd like you to hold it down, please. Then you're going to take those arms up. Feel the core working as you hold your arms out. Now, let's bring the arms down. Put your weight on your left leg. Take your right leg without coming out of the squat position and just put it behind you nice and straight. So see how I have ear, shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle in a nice straight line. Left leg is still holding that squat. Left leg's doing a lot of work right now. Bring the right leg back under your hip, staying in that squat. Put the weight on the right leg. Go ahead and take that left leg back now. You should look like you're in a plank. Nice long lines. Right leg very active. Bring it back to center. And let's alternate this slowly. And we can add the arms nice and long when you're ready. 
So you'll notice when I take the leg back, there's no bend in my hip. It's nice and straight. And that's what we're looking for. We're gonna be doing this exercise later. And we really wanna focus on that nice long line right now. Good. This time, let's keep it behind us. Shift my positioning a little bit. We're gonna do some calf lengthening. All 10 toes point forward. I'm gonna come up on the toe and then drop the heel. If you need to shorten your stance and bring that back leg in, in order to reach the heel to the floor, please do. Hold the heel down. See if you can bend into this front knee and sink a little further into that calf stretch. So I'm just gonna come down and up. And as you can see, this is a bit of a balance challenge for me this morning. Good. Four, keeping that heel down, lengthening the calf. Two and one. Bring this leg back under your hip and switch it. So you're up on the toe, getting ready to go up higher on the toe and press the heel down. You want all 10 toes pointing forward in the same direction. Our calves get limited by our glutes. When we have tight glutes, that back foot tends to want to creep out and point to the side. We don't want that right now because that won't get us our length. Four, here's three, two, you're gonna leave that back heel down and just sink into this front leg, getting a little extra stretch. Good, four, here's three, here's two, here's one. Bring the back leg under the hip, rise up out of that squat, nice deep breath, and exhale. Feet stay forward, side lunge, sinking back into this hip, Here's your side view, All right? This looks like a squat. Step together, other side, side lunge. Sink back into that heel and together. Alternating sides. Keep going. Weight goes into that heel, you press through the heel to rise. Now for your next one, hold this side lunge. Keep your feet where they are, and let's just rock side to side. One side lunge to the other. Press through the heel of the bent leg. And now let's take your hands to the thighs and begin to twist your shoulder toward the bent knee. Little spinal rotation. Now let's take the hands away from the thighs and involve them in our twist. Nice, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Let's grab your mat if you're on a hard surface. Coming into our upper body warm up. I'm gonna flip mine to the dark side. Not the evil side, just the side that you can see better. Come on down into tabletop. Let's begin with a little bit of cat cow for our upper body warm up. Hands nice and wide like a starfish. Wrists directly underneath your shoulder sockets, knees directly under your hip sockets. Let's block the floor away and round the spine, tucking the tailbone, tucking the chin. And then inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the chin. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, extend the spine. Move through this at your own pace for a few breaths. Getting some nice mobility into your spine this morning before we really get going. Okay, now find tabletop where your spine is nice and neutral and long. Blocking the floor away so you're active in the hands. Tuck your toes under, press the floor away, elbows stay soft. Hover the knees off of the mat just by a couple of inches. All right, this is plank prep. Getting us ready for our planks today. Weight evenly distributed among all 10 fingers. Pushing that floor away. Beautiful. 
and gently set the knees down, uncurl the toes, just stretch back for a moment. And come back into that tabletop, tuck the toes, press the floor away, hover the knees. Now I'm gonna tick tock my knees, so I'm just gonna tip to one side and tap the knee to the center, and then tip and tap the knee to the center, the other knee. So here's your front view if you need to see that. Just a little tip with a little tap. Just changing the weight distribution. And rest it down, stretch back. Flip the wrists over so you put the palm up and a very gentle, very gentle pressure on the back of the wrist. Good, shake that out, ready for push-ups. So we're gonna go for eight to 12 of your very best push-ups. You're gonna do these in your own time. So watch me first for some options. I would love for everybody to begin in a high plank where your breastbone is directly over the invisible line between your two thumbs. We lower with a straight body as slowly as we can, and then we can put the knees down and press up to modified plank. Then we go back to high plank to do it again. I am all the way on the floor here. Option two, same first half, this time only one knee down and the other foot stays down. And of course I would alternate that. If you're doing military style, your chest should nearly touch the floor. This is a big range of motion. My suggestion, begin with the hardest one that you can do one or two, and then regress to the next easiest version. So the next easiest from full military style, one knee down, and then go to two knees. Eight to 12 of the best ones you've got. I'm watching you. They look good. I love that some of you are working outdoors. When you've done your very best and you can do no more, stretch back in child's pose. These look good, my friends. You look strong. Your neck should stay long and neutral. Same amount of length in the front of your neck as the back. And then you do your stretch back when you're ready. And then come to your knees and roll out your wrists. Maybe a figure eight, reverse the figure eight. And then I'm gonna get my mat out of the way and slowly work my way back up to standing. Grab a sip of water. For this first series, this is where I said it would be easier to use light dumbbells or soup cans, a couple of full water bottles, something that doesn't rely on elastic resistance and you standing on it to hold it. So I'm going to begin with my feet together. Heels are together. I'm going to just pick up my toes and open them out into that athletic V stance, just like we did in that warm-up. So just begin with those little knee bends, getting that mobility into the ankles. Now, we're gonna add a bunch of balance in here today. So hold please. I'm gonna have you rise up onto the balls of your feet, onto your toes, and then kiss your heels back together so that they squeeze together. Now at any point, if you don't wanna stay in this releve position, you can always put your heels down. So now, as we sink down into that diamond shape, we probably have a bit more range of motion because we're not limited by our ankle flexibility, which in my case is not very flexible. Good, so you're squeezing those heels together and zipping up through the inner thighs. Posture is tall. We're gonna go down three, two, one, and rise up. Three, two, one. I'm gonna bring the dumbbells up by my ears and I'm gonna press them up as I sink down into that diamond plie. So I go three, two, one, squeeze up. Three, 
two, one, and squeeze up. How low you go is completely personal. Up to you, what feels good to you today? Let's do four more like this. Nice, squeeze. Remember, you can come out of that releve at any point. All right, you're gonna hold this down. Shake those arms out. You're in your lowest, whatever that is, diamond plie. Arms are back up. We come halfway up, all the way down. And we can do full shoulder presses with this. Squeeze those heels together. Good. And hold it down. Bring the arms to the side. Bring them up, out to the sides, just below shoulder height. We're gonna bring the arms together. Open them out. So it's our static hold with the diamond plie. Squeeze the heels together. Arms stay out, we pulse up an inch. Up an inch, squeeze those heels together. Good, four. Here's three. Here's two, I'm gonna flip my palms up. I'm gonna do full range, up, up. Down, down. Not too many of these. Up, up. Two more. Nice posture, core tight. Last one. And bring the arms down. Kiss the heels down to the floor. You need room on either side of you to step wide into that plie. So adjust your spacing if you need to. Let's see, right here, should be good. Step out wide to your left and back together. To your right and back together, good. I'm gonna add an upright row. Nice, now the arm stuff is completely optional. You can do it without any weight at all or with the light weights as I'm demonstrating. Okay, we're gonna hold this one out. We're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, nice and tall, two. Now back to the center, slowly with that diamond plie. Good. And if you wish to do this in releve, you may. Squeezing those heels together, whether your heels are on the ground or not. Four more. Three. Two. One more. Stepping out to your right for eight. Big plies with upright row. Nice. Good posture. Here's two. Back to the center. Slow. In releve or not. Two more. Getting ready to step out to your left with upright rows. Here we go for four. Three, two, back to the center, slow, up. Now stepping out to your right with the upright row. Four, three, two, back to the center, diamond plie, slow. Just one more. Stepping to your left, upright row for two. In the center, diamond plie, one, slow. Other side, two. Center, slow. Step to the left, two. Center, slow. And to your right, two. Center, slow. And finished with that. Excellent work. Shake it out. Find something for balance. 
Let's do a quad stretch. Same hand, same ankle. And do the other side. Deep breaths into your belly. When we use all those big muscles, our heart rate tends to go up a bit, which is a good thing. Okay, grab a sip of water. For your next series, at the bar, the chair, the countertop, whatever, you'll want something a little bit heavier. Just a little bit heavier, not a lot. We're gonna be doing a row along with that back lunge that we practiced. Elastic resistance will work for this. I'll put it under my non-moving foot. Remember how we came into that squat and we put the leg back? Then I could choke down here to do my rowing action, okay? Or you can use the dumbbell. So, feet about hip width, so close enough to your bar or your chair that your elbow is bent. You've got a little room to squat without smacking your face on anything, okay? So I'm gonna put the dumbbell in the right hand and the right leg is the one that's gonna go back behind me. So let's squat and rise just a couple times. Very light grip on the bar. It's just there to aid your balance. Stay down this time. Keep the spine lengthened. Take that right leg behind you and bring it in. Behind you, nice straight line so you look like a plank. Behind you, bring it in. Leave it behind you. Now this time, I'm just gonna get my arm out of the way so you can see what's happening. I'm gonna rise up out of it. I'm gonna sink back down into it, right? So we've just smoothed out that motion instead of separating the squat. Putting the dumbbell back in my hand. So we'll go up, two, long line, two. Chest stays open, spread that collarbone wide. Hold here. So now I'm gonna go back, back, row up, squeeze the shoulder blade, lower the row, Rise up out of the lunge. Take it back. I'm skimming my upper arm right alongside my shirt. Good, we go back. Row, unrow, rise one more like that. Back, row, unrow. Let's go a little bit quicker. So I go back, I row, I unrow, and I rise. Nice. So you should notice, as you're driving through the heel of the stationary foot, that your glutes and hamstrings of that leg are really doing the majority of the work. You have two more. Hold this one back. Okay, from here. Half range, up out of the lunge, with a full row. Here's four, here's three, here's two, here's one. Hold the elbow high, little pulse with the legs. Just a little lift, press through the heel of the front foot. Now hold it, kick back with the triceps, eight times. Seven, almost done, six, five, spine long, four, three, Two, hold it up, hold it up, release it, rise. Oh my, okay. So that stationary leg did most of the work, right? Shake it out, figure four with what was the stationary leg and sit and stretch the glutes. Couple of deep breaths. Are we ready to do that on the other side? Switch the hand, set it up, feet hip width or wider. Let's just do a few squats, rise up. So you're testing your spacing from your bar, sitting into those heels, spine staying long. Next squat, you hold it down. Okay, keep the weight in this right heel. Left leg goes back, find that nice long line. Bring it in. Take it back. 
bring it in. Two more, take it back, bring it in. One more, bring it in, rise up, smoothing it out. So I'm gonna take the left leg back as I sink into that squat leg position. Here we go, long line, rise up, driving through that heel. Back to that long line, nice and slow. Showing you the front view. Collarbone stays spread open wide. And you should look like a plank at the bottom. Two more for practice here. One more. Now adding the row. So hold please, chest out, shoulders back. Reset that posture. Here we go, we go back to back to row up, squeezing the shoulder blade, row down, rise up. Again, back nice and long. Skim the arm right alongside your t-shirt or tank top. Rise up, back, row, unrow, rise up. Remember, you're driving through the heel of the stationary leg to pull you back up to standing. One more like that. Squeeze the row. We speed it up a bit. We go back. We row, unrow, and rise. Keeping your neck nice and long. So eyes will be on the floor if you feet in front of your toes at the bottom. Two more. One more. Hold it back. Okay, from here, halfway out of the lunge with a full row. I'll show you on this side. I'm rising up, straightening this front knee partially. Four more. Four, three, two, hold the arm up. Just pulse the leg. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it, hip backs, tricep, seven, six, spine long, core tight, four, three, two, one, hold it up, hold it, hold it, release, and rise, excellent work, let's do that figure four stretch. I'm gonna sit and rise a couple of times. Get a little blood flow there. And then hold it. Beautiful work, friends. Deep breaths. Grab a quick sip of water. One more really quick squat series just to finish off the standing work. No equipment required for this one. Oh, I'm sweaty. Okay. Standing and facing your bar. Feet hip width are a little bit wider. Arms soft. Getting ready to squat. Just parallel squats. Just send those hips down and back. Drive through the heels to rise. Now, if you have a pretty stable bar, you can pull on it a little bit and probably sit it back a little bit further and lower. Feel free to do that if you have that stable bar. If you're working on a very light chair, then that will not work. Just four more full range because they feel good. Three, drive through those heels. You should be able to wiggle the toes the entire time. Next one, hold it down, please. Hold your lowest squat, whatever that is. Half range, we come halfway out, all the way down. We're really pressing through those heels now. Using those glutes, that's what pressing through the heels does for you. It's a good thing. All right, hold it down. From here, little tiny pulse, it's an inch. Press, focus on the up. Press up, press up, good, three, Two, hold the bottom. Can you lift an arm? 
and you lift the other arm. Nice static hold, good. Take the hands back to the bar. Without moving your knees or hips, I'm gonna open and twist through my torso to one side and then to the other side. Be cautious not to take your knees and hips with you. It's not a huge twist. It's coming from the waist. Four. Three. Two. One more. We're staying in the squat if you can. We're gonna do heel pops. I'm gonna lift one heel and then the other heel. I'm gonna add a little pulse up with each of these pops. Last eight and we're done. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise up. Ah, I'm pushing my hips forward a little bit, getting a little hip extension and back extension. Shake those legs out. Let's do a quad stretch. Same hand, same ankle. Stretching leg should be slightly behind the standing leg. Standing leg is, of course, soft. Deep breaths. Same stretch on the other side. And let's do a flat back hamstring stretch. So lengthen the back, sorry, lengthen your knees. Any amount that feels good here without locking them. So from here, I'm gonna bend my knees and drop my tailbone a little bit and then lengthen my knees and lift the tailbone. Just getting a little range of motion back to those hamstrings. And then hold the top and find that stretch. You might find that you can take it a little bit lower. Really lifting your tailbone. Good, release that. Let's come into a wide stance. Let's just do a little side lunge like we did in the warm up. As we breathe deeply and bring our heart rate down a little bit so we can come to the ground for some floor work. Let's hold the center now. Bring my feet a little closer. Torso twist, shoulder toward the opposite knee. Looking over the other shoulder if that feels good. And center, other side. And center, roll it up. up. Grab that mat, pull it into place. And let's do some floor work. I don't know about you, but I am dripping sweat. Yeah, this is why I usually wear black clothing. <laughs> Stuff out of the way. So let's come onto our seat to begin. So I'm gonna sit tall. I'm gonna take my hands just under and slightly behind my shoulders with fingers pointing toward my hips. Okay, so from the front view, my thumbs are almost under my hips, okay? From here, you're gonna press into the heels, press into the hands, and lift the seat. I'm gonna take my gaze to the ceiling. I'm gonna spread my collarbone open nice and wide, lifting my heart and my hips to the ceiling. Now, if this is feeling a little bit uncomfortable, feel free to bend the knees and take the heels right under your knees and lift into tabletop. Press and lift, lift. This is countering all of that crouching over keyboards and phones that we're doing. Five, four, lift the seat. Three, two, one, set the seat down. Release, shake out those wrists. Take the soles of the feet together into a butterfly stance. Stance, seat, I'll turn forward. <laughs> and just go ahead and round the spine lightly, gently, 
over your legs, keeping the knees wide. Good, release that and come all the way down, lying down on your back for a Pilates bridge. So from here, I'm hoping you can see me, I think you can. In a yoga bridge, the heels are very close to the seat. In a Pilates bridge, they're a little bit further away. I'd like palms up to begin if you could. Take a nice deep breath in to prepare. And as you exhale, press through the heels, lift the hips up. I'd like for the shoulder blades, the bottom of the shoulder blades to remain in contact with the mat. So I could lift a lot higher and take my shoulder blades off the mat. That's not what I wanna do. I wanna press through the heels, engaging the glutes without gripping the glutes. So the glutes are active, but I'm not squeezing them. I'm not clenching. From here, I'm gonna lift an inch and back to the neutral spine position with the shoulder blades touching the mat. Lift, lift. Core engaged like you blew out your birthday candles. Here's four. I'm actually shaking a bit. Two, one, let's set it down for a moment. Hug the knees into the shoulders. So I'm keeping them wide. Beautiful. Release and let's go back into that bridge. So from here, I wanna keep my heels in line with my hips so my feet are a little bit narrower. I'm gonna lift up. I'm gonna put my weight onto my left leg and I'm gonna extend my right leg out. From here, I'm gonna point to the ceiling. I'm gonna flex and lower so that my knees are level with each other. Point, flex and lower. Point, lift, flex, lower. Keeping the hips level and square. One more. And set it down. Come down to rest for just a moment. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Other leg out. Flex to lift, point to lower. 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 Two more, flex to lift, point to lower. One more, flex to lift, point to lower. Set it down, lower down. Lift up. Extend the right leg. This time, point to lift, flex to lower. 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 And set it down, hips down. Deep breath. Exhale, lift. Extend the other leg. Here we go. Point to lift, flex to lower. Point to lift, flex to lower. Four more. Point to lift, flex to lower. Point to lift, flex to lower. Point to lift, last one. And set it down and hug those knees right into your chest. Give yourself a little side to side rock little massage for the spine. Some deep breaths. I'm gonna bring the music to be a little bit calmer. Okay. So from here, take the hands out to make the letter T from your shoulders. Engage the, the belly. Bring the knees one at a time right over your hips. Okay, and you can have your palms up or down, whichever feels better for you. You need space on both sides. I'm gonna squeeze the knees and feet together. I'm gonna inhale to prepare. I'm gonna exhale to tip my knees to one side, but keeping both shoulders on the mat. I'm gonna pause for an inhale. And then I'm gonna exhale to bring them back to center. Inhale, prepare. 
exhale, tip to the other side, keeping the shoulders down. Inhale, exhale to come back to center, keeping that core nice and tight. Do this at your own pace. Inhale, prepare, exhaling as you move. Inhaling for the pause, exhaling as you move. Keep squeezing those legs together. One or two more, whichever makes you even on your sides. And then go ahead and hug those knees in. Extend one leg long. Take the other knee, the other arm is out to the side like it just was a moment ago. And let's do a nice spinal twist. Once again, you're gonna keep the shoulder on the mat. And it doesn't have to, the leg doesn't have to come all the way over to touch the floor. It's however far feels good and keeps your shoulder on the mat. If it feels okay, you can turn your head and look over your extended arm. And come back to center. Extend that other leg. Arm out to the side. When you're ready, take your spinal twist. Give it a moment here, keeping that shoulder on the mat. And if and when you're ready and want to turn the head and look over your arm, feel free. Nice deep breaths. And bring it back to center. Grab behind your legs and roll yourself up to sitting. And you're gonna come right all the way over onto all fours. Okay, from here, knees under your hip sockets, fingers open wide. And now let's take one hand right at your temple. So I'm not putting any pressure on my head, but I'm going to open, twisting my spine, and then I'm going to twist under. My elbow is coming a little bit under my other arm. And then I'll open back up and twist under. A little bit like thread the needle, which we'll do in a moment. One more. And place that hand down, switch the whole operation. Fingertip at your temple, twist through the waist, and then slightly under the other arm. Four of these. One more. And place the hand down. Okay. Making it a little bit bigger to actually thread the needle. So lift the arm toward the ceiling, twisting through the spine, spreading the collarbone wide, and then tucking it under and looking toward that hand. You can even lower your cheek toward the mat. And let's do that one more time. Twisting up toward the sky or the ceiling. And thread it under. And just pause here for a couple of breaths. And release that, switch it. Open up. And thread the needle. Pause for a couple of breaths. And open up toward the sky or the ceiling. Beautiful day today. And thread it under. A couple of big breaths right into those low, wide ribs. And release. Sit however you're comfortable. Take a nice deep breath up. 
and exhale. And last one, my friends. Big inhale and exhale, palms to the ceiling. Smiles on your faces, I hope. Have a wonderful, glorious day. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Dawn. This is Barr. I will see you again, hopefully, next Monday at 7.30. Um, or Thursday for Total Body Conditioning at 8.30. Have a wonderful day, my friends. Thank you again for joining me. Thank you, Dawn. You're welcome.